Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be talking about intensifying screens and let's start by reviewing the components of an uh, intensifying screen or a film screen system. The first one, the first layer we see here in gray, that's uh, representing our intensifying screen. Then we have the black lines which are our emulsion and the base and then you see we have another emulsion and then another intensifying screen. Some of the systems uh, that we use for radiology, they have intensifying screen on both sides. Mammography, for reasons that relate to spatial resolution, we only have intensifying screen on one side. In terms of image quality, you're going to see that intensifying screens are related to spatial resolution or detail and noise. I've added the noise to this part of the diagram because it did not have that um, that component. For film, film mainly affects contrast and it is also related to noise. However, the noise is to a much lesser extent than the actual intensifying screen. So I would even leave the noise out of this diagram uh, for the film and I would just focus on, on how the intensifying screen is going to create image noise or quantum model for your image and that all that contributes to image quality well why we do intensifying screens or why we use them we achieve lower radiation dose it can be up to 50 times because that that's how much we intensify our x-ray beam so we're able to use 50 times less radiation dose one of the most important factors, and that's why we have it here in red, is that we increase noise due to quantum model when we are using intensifying screens. And we'll explain why that's the case. But in essence, a more efficient system allows us to use less photons, but technically we're going to be amplifying the information of a lower number of photons, which has a benefit of lower radiation however we do increase noise and variation because of the intrinsic nature that we're using less photons moving on the efficiency of an intensifying screen we, we describe intensifying screens in terms of their efficiency and that depends on absorption and conversion the speed also depends on these two factors so a more efficient screen is also going to be a faster one. We talk about absorption efficiency and conversion efficiency and for a diff every different system or every different screen you're going to have a different number both for absorption efficiency and for conversion efficiency. Our dose is also related directly to the speed and the efficiency of the intensifying screen. Quantum model that's going to be the noise that we introduce is the same as image noise and we have three reasons for that two of them one is the screen and the other one is the film model that's uh, variations that are within the system itself however quantum model you see i have three stars here because this one is more important than the other two so out of the three the real important factor for image noise is quantum model that is related to the statistical variation due to the number of x-rays or photons they're the same thing in the image surface in general we mentioned that a higher conversion efficiency will create more models since we're using a lower amount of x-rays the other important concept is that this does not depend on screen thickness and screen thickness is very related to absorption efficiency and this might seem counterintuitive but the way I think of it is that the conversion efficiency is the one that's creating more photons either directly or indirectly but it's giving the effect of having more photons but that information is really being amplified from a single photon so that's when you're increasing quantum model however absorption efficiency means how fast my screen is absorbing the information that's already there so it does add speed to the whole process but it does doesn't add noise the entire concept of adding noise to the image comes from 
using a lower amount of photons and what really allows us to do that is the conversion efficiency of the screen. Here we have an example of a lot of x-rays, we have a film and we have a density. You'll notice that we don't have a screen but we move lower and we're able to use a lower amount of x-rays that they're represented here. We have a screen and then that screen amplifies our x-rays, our photons and they're turned into light which the film is going to be very sensitive to and we achieve the same, you can see we achieve the same density as we did before however we use a lower amount of x-rays by adding the screen but like everything in radiology adding that screen comes with a cost and that cost is going to be blurring and the blurring affects your spatial resolution. The first one we have a very fast screen which also tends to be thicker because it's going to absorb more of the x-rays and the thicker the screen the more opportunity for divergence you will have before it actually reaches the, the, the film. For a medium object then we use a medium screen and we minimize that effect for a special resolution and when we're really focusing on details like in mammography we want to make sure we use a very small screen and all that comes into play depending on what we're using we use a different type of screen and we try to balance the speed versus how much are we losing in spatial resolution so we already saw that by using a screen we decrease spatial resolution and we also add quantum model which is going to add noise to our image This other diagram here is showing how blur is increases at uh, higher speeds because of the thickness of the screen and as we move to a relatively lower or less sensitive screen we achieve better detail. So we have detail in mammography represented down here and as we go higher we have high speed and medium speed however we also have a higher blur. That's it guys. Uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll keep adding videos for you.